middleweight fight. Tiago Perpetua is 24. Leonardo Mafra is 23. Both men fighting at 185. They both made weight easily. 184 for Perpetua, 182 for Leonardo Mafra. Reach is a slight advantage on the ledger of Tiago Perpetua. Perpetua has fought at light heavyweight. And Mafra is unbeaten as a professional mixed martial artist. He is 5-0 in his pro career. Both young, up-and-coming fighters who are set to showcase their skills here tonight. Here is Bruce Buffer. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki will be our referee for this middleweight battle, the beautiful Ariani. Great to be tá back pronto. in Brazil. Middleweight matchup is underway. In the red trunks, it's Perpetua. In the black trunks, Leonardo Mafra. They battle early. You can see Perpetua in a big 185. And the combination thrown by Mafra through the hand and then the kick and then wanted to follow up with another kick. A lead uppercut followed by a kick. And a nice fired kick by Tiago Perpetua. Caught the midsection of Mafra on his way in. Trying to mix things up. Yeah, Mafra. <laughs> Mafra. Is, he's very wild with his combinations. Yeah. Had the lead, nice. lead right uppercut on that combination before Joe. And then the switch kick connects with his opponent, Per Petua. Well, I saw him warming up earlier. He was all smiles, looked very relaxed. Good combination. Looping left and a right. Well, six of his eight professional wins have come by knockout. So, Tiago Perpetua has put away many an opponent with that striking we have seen displayed here so far early in the fight. <laughs> Perpetua has been much more conservative. Yeah. Waiting for his openings. Mafra more dynamic so far. Yeah, he's, he drops his hands wildly, though, Mike, when he throws these combinations. He leaves himself open for counters, and you've got to think that Perpetuo is seeing those openings, just hasn't quite been able to pull the trigger yet. Perpetuo ties him up. He's got a body lock here. Let's see if he can drag it to the ground. And Perpetuo is the knockout specialist, as we mentioned, although Mafra has finished three of his five professional wins by knockout. Both men are finishers. Perpetua might be the oldest looking 24 year old dude on the planet. Yeah, right? Lead left hook. That was a good right hand by Perpetua and a good left. Good counter left there. Mafra stays right in the pocket though. The head kick. Nice counter. They battle in close quarter. And Perpetua Mafra pushes his way from the fence. Sorry, Mike. Perpetua has a mouse under his right eye. One of those uh, looping left hooks of Mafra caught him. Mafra not only counters, he counters with combinations. Back up against the fence. Perpetua got caught again. Wild with the left. left hook. Yeah, Mafra throws, they're, they're kind of arm punches, but right. man, there's a lot of pop behind him. Caught him again with the left. And you can see the mouse starting to swell up on the right side of the face of Tiago Perpetua. See, when he does that, Mike, when he throws these combinations, you can you see the you see how he drops his hands. I mean, he's a, he's a talented kid, but he's very raw. But he comes up and wheels around and swings for the fences. 
He does, but he uses a lot of energy doing that, and we may very well see him tire because of that. Caught the leg and then countered. One minute on the clock here in the first round. Everything he throws has got murder written all over it. But it, when you miss a lot of shots like that, Perpetuo countered, caught him with a good right hand there. When you miss a lot of shots like that, man, is it wear you out. It's about twice the energy that it requires to land a punch. Mafra to the body trying to avoid being taken down here late in the round. Because not only do you throw the punch with all your might, then you have to decelerate and control yourself. As opposed to when you land, your opponent's body absorbs the impact. Really working hard for the single is Per Petua. Good takedown defense by Leonardo Mafra. That's quite a mouse in the right eye of Perpetua, Mike. That might need some attention in between rounds. Good knee to the body there. Final seconds of round one. Nice elbow by Perpetua. The corner of Tiago Perpetua. Pay attention. And now Leonardo Mafra. When you take him down, you got to work on your combo. Your hands are landing. First, you got to land a kick, and then you land the combos. And then you take him down. You don't have to take him down. He's tired. Just do your combos, he's dead. You gotta work on your combos and take him down with a single leg. He's tired, put your hands on his ribs and take him down. The advice in the corner of Leonardo Mafra. Getting set for round two. Tiago Perpetua, who started this season of competition on Team Vitor, switched to Team Vanderlei late. Vitor's team very dominant in the competition early. And again, Mafra just continues to swing away. And he came right out and fired. Yeah, if I was Mafra's coach, I would just want him to calm down a bit with right. these looping shots. Just more technique. Throw shots hard, but don't be so wide with them. Don't be so, you know, don't throw so much arm punches. There was a good left to the body and a right hand by Perpetuo. You can see he's much more technical in his striking. Yes. But Mafra throws more shots. Yeah, and he has landed more significant strikes so far in this fight. He's certainly more reckless. Good left hook there by Perpetuo. And you saw the hands hanging of Leonardo Mafra yeah. leaving a wide open jaw for that left hook to land on. I mean, he's obviously very game and very talented, but he needs to focus on technique a bit more. Perpetuo trying to establish a little bit of dominance on the feet here. I mean, that's what every trainer looks for. You look for a raw guy who's not afraid to throw. Right. Oh, look at this. He's got his back. He got an arm here. If Mafra can grab a hold of that right arm, he's got it. Trying to finish oh, it. Oh, good spin over. Nicely. Very nicely done by Perpetuo. And this well-educated crowd recognizes that submission escape by Tiago Perpetuo. And now he's in top position. And he's going for the left arm again, Mike. Perpetuo. Hammer fist from the bottom by Mafra. Mafra's going to try. He's trying to lock that left arm up again, Mike. See how he's wrapping it up with his arm? He's going again. There it is. There it is. Lost it again, though. Lost it again. Full guard now, but busy from the bottom is Leonardo Mafra. Yeah, like I said, this is the kind of kid that every trainer wants to get a hold of. Wild, game, not afraid. And he's going to throw it again. Started fighting at age 17 in 2010 hey, Mafra. See that elbow over the top? Oh, and another again. one. Mafra again, though. Look at the left arm of Perpetuo. See how he keeps clamping down on it with his forearm? Again, he's clamping down. He keeps looking for that submission. And again, he's looking for it. He's game, man. He's trying to win this fight from his back. Both men throwing hammer fists. There's 
Williams looking for it again. Perpetuo connects. Perpetuo is obviously very confident in his defense because he's leaving his arms in there and just trying to drop hammer fists and punches down on Mafra. Big shots with the ground and pound. Mafra trying to control. He can't control the posture right now, Perpetuo. Mafra's cut up a bit, Mike. Got a big mouse under his eye now. Good middleweight fight to get things started here live on FX from Bela Horizonte, Brazil. You got to decide how you're going to say that. You know, it's, uh, we're going to be Americanized <laughs> or we're going to go more local flavor. It looks like it's Horizonte, but they say Horizonte. They say a lot of things crazy. <laughs> yeah. It would be Chiago Perpetua. Well, we say they say things crazy, but since we're in their country. <laughs> Good point by you. I, <laughs> Good point by you. <laughs> Just over a minute on the clock here in the second. Perpetuo is doing a good job of controlling Mafra on the ground here, Mike, and softening him up with punches. He's got the advantage with the ground strikes. So Mafra busy, but the ones doing more damage have been thrown by Tiago Perpetua here in this top position here in the second round. Well, this is certainly a much better round for Perpetuo. He was looking for the takedown. And Mafra got a hold of the arm, but still, it turns out that he completes the takedown, and you can see why he wanted this fight on the ground, Joe. Another big elbow. Yeah, he certainly has the advantage on the ground, but man, that was, that was close by Mafra, that left arm. Perpetuo is trying to, good job by Mafra getting that left knee up. Perpetuo now back in a full guard. Big elbow again. Yeah, huge elbows. Ten seconds on the clock here in the second. Perpetua clearly dominant with his top control. Oh, nasty, nasty welt. Very good. Now you can't let him take him down. You, you gotta go to a fight when you're standing up. You're a fighter, you gotta fight him when you're standing up. One more round. This round's yours. Listen to me, this is your round. You gotta go to the Muay Thai. This was your round. Let's go. One more round. Let's go. Got it? Come with a Superman punch. And the knees. Third and final round of this middleweight fight. Mario Yamasaki gets things going here in the third. Mafra on the black. Perpetua with a Superman punch in the red. And there's those big wild punches of Leonardo Mafra again. Both men with swelling under their right eyes. From the striking on the feet of Leonardo Mafra, that's where he damaged Perpetuo. Yeah, Perpetuo, Perpetuo returned it on the ground. Oh, he came right hand. Trying to finish it right here. Perpetuo looking for the win. Mafra trying to protect himself. That's it. That's and it, it is all over. Tiago Perpetuo wins his UFC debut. That's a serious swelling under his right eye, Mike. Big take, right hand. Let's take a look at the finish. Here it is, front kick, and right here, boom, right hand drops him. And he just jumps on him. Punches, punches, elbow, elbow, over and over again, hammer fists and elbows. First fight is a victory for Perpetuo. How did he do it? Here's the official decision from Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at 41 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO, Tiago Bodong.
41 seconds into the third, he earns the victory against Leonardo Mafra. Joe will visit with our winner. I'm here with your winner, Tiago Perpetuo. Tiago, congratulations. You caught him with a clean right hand, dropped him, and then swarmed on him for the finish. Eu estou aqui com o vencedor, Tiago, parabéns. Você deu uma direita nele, depois caiu em cima dele para acabar com ele. Take a look at the video and talk us through this. Dá uma olhada no vídeo e fala pra gente como é que foi. É, foi exatamente o que a gente tinha estudado, né? Eu sabia que ele era um cara guerreiro, que era da mesma área que eu, que é a trocação. Então a gente sabia que se houvesse qualquer tipo de problema em pé, a estratégia era colocar pra, pro chão e usar meu grau de impound, que é forte. Eu tomei um chute na costela no começo, eu, eu machuquei a costela durante o treinamento. Acabei sentindo muito e tomei duros golpes depois disso, porque eu fiquei um pouco de tempo sem respirar. Mas graças a Deus, com a torcida de todo mundo aí, ó, sempre me motiva durante as lutas aí. Eu tive força para continuar lutando, valeu. Obrigado a todo mundo aí, obrigado Belo Horizonte, pessoal de São Paulo que veio me assistir aí. That is what we were training for, both of us are strikers, so that's exactly what I wanted to do, come in here and put him down and, and while we were training someone kicked my ribs and it was hurting me so it was difficult to breathe, but that's what I tried to do all here, thank you crowd for supporting me. Congratulations on your victory, Tiago Perpetuo ladies and gentlemen.